Hi everybody. What I have is the Yukon Outfitters El Capitan pack. And I just got it today from Woot. And I thought I would show it off a little bit and let everybody see it. Um, I kind of have it loaded up right now, so I'll go ahead and unload it and show you what I got in there. Kind of, sort of, not that it's that interesting what's in there, but at least uh, give you an idea what's in the pack. Um, there's uh, straps on the outer side. A hole in my shoes in there. And. Yay. It really is uh, two and a half pounds. It's just over two and a half pounds, uh, just like it calls for. Um, it's actually uh, pretty light. The, the padding on there is kind of sticky to get my two bottles of water. Actually, it's kind of sticky to get one bottle of water in there when you uh, have it full. So uh, remember that. But other than that, um, it's just like it says. It's got the stickiness to it. Uh, these little things right here, they have a little tiny clip on them, and uh, let me get a close-up of that. It's just a little tiny clip that goes around. Like that. It does latch on, but it kind of has to have some tension on it. The, uh, I do have it loaded more than the 45 and uh, when it is loaded more than the 45 there's a trick to that you you can't there's that center snap right there and that center snap is hard to buckle if you go over the 45 so uh, you do got to make sure that you keep it down These are, are straps and they're not clips, which is fine. They're just they're straps. And I wondered if they had gone the whole way around or how they would work and and they're just straps that go on there. Nothing else to it. Um, let's see what else we got. I happen to have Now, I did notice this right off the bat. It, it's it's actually not so much a, a defect as it is a, it's just the line where they had to seam it together. So that's just the seam. Uh, it does have a little mark on it, but. I got this is because of the I wanted the weight I didn't want to go ultra light but I didn't want to go regular weighted either I kind of went for the lightweight style and everything I had in here including the pack weighed 24 pounds I had food water everything um, I'm gonna grab the camera and stick it inside there so you can kind of see the bottom uh, I kind of unzipped this portion here, which you can see is a, actually there's not a little zipper key on it, it's just got the zipper head on it, and inside it is a little, uh, it's like a cutting board. Hang on, I'll pull it out, and it kind of gives it its rigidness. Hang on. Here we go.
That doesn't pull out as easy as I thought it would. Oh, I see. It's actually got some straps going down inside there, so it's actually kind of strapped in. So it's not as easy to get out as I had imagined it to be. It's actually got a strap right there and then I can't see where the strap actually goes but it's looped around inside there I'm sure it's easy to take out if you can find the right stuff to take it out at um, I'm just gonna leave it in there because I don't want to mess with it so let me put it back in Like I said, the zipper doesn't have the zipper head on it, or it's just the zipper head it doesn't have the key on it. So you kind of have to slide it yourself. It's just fine. Less weight. All right. Um, the snaps are actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, the the clips, I mean. The clips are all pretty good. They have a nice firmness to them. The other thing that's interesting is they have these Velcro on here, which are little tiny, where you can actually fold it up. I'll show you what I mean. You can fold that up and then use the Velcro around like that. Which I actually thought was kind of neat. Um, it kind of, uh, for the guys that are going to cut these off, if you're going to cut them off, uh, it's, it's not to your benefit for to have that on there, I guess. But um, another thing that's interesting is uh, this thing here, which is the belt holder, has a little tiny space in it to keep that belt tight as you go along um, so at, if you're coming around and you're a really skinny guy you can you can tighten that up even more so it'll, it, it hugs closer to you the, uh, this is supposedly removable and I can feel down in there where it would be looks like it's just held into by some velcro Top strap is not removable. Alright. I'll uh, load it up so that uh, you can see what I got that goes in there. Um, the water bottles work fine, especially when it's empty. It, it's, it's like that that's sticky material. It's not really that it's sticky, it's just that it's a uh, uh, rubber inner tube feeling and you know that you have uh, um, some friction on there when you go to slide into it even right there it kind of catches on me it is easier to load those in there right off the bat instead of waiting until it's full but that also tells you how tough it is to get it out of there when you have it in there so once it's in there. All right, I'm, I'm loaded down. There's five pounds of water. There's a two and a half pound tank. steaks
two and a half pounds of food, uh, five days worth. It does say on the pack that this is a three day pack, um, but you know, to each his own. Uh, three days, whatever that means to you, might mean something different to me. Pound and a half of snacks. A little bit of beef jerky. Two pound sleeping bag. clothing tucked it way down in there toiletries towel toothbrush powder we got a shovel which I want to be careful with Here, a trash bag with me. Cook set. Food warmer. Uh, tools, scissors, duct tape. Some medicine, some some string, duct tape, blah blah blah. Poncho. Toilet paper. Bug netting. Bug spray. One more. I use a a flat mat to lay on, really lightweight. Snap that one in first. Then go around the top. Flip it around. Snap the side one in first. I'm going to take this one, roll it over. This is the one I was telling you when, see how loaded I am? I am just overloaded. I'm, I shouldn't be that, that heavy. So I have to mash mine down a little bit. And I still can't get it right now. I did kind of shove it in there just for the camera. I tried it. It's the same stuff I pulled out.
the ribs. There we go. Looks a little bit better that way. There it is. Water loaded down. I got a watch on there. I got one more water that I can latch on right there. Actually, I've been, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the water instead of right there. I'm going to try it over here. Well, I'm going to try it right there is where I'm going to try my water. So that strap that holds that belt in is where I'm going to try it. Next. And finally. I have the shoes. And what I did for the shoes is one. I'll take that off a little bit later. Three. So my shoes are on there. Water on that side. The dirt on there is actually from this table I'm using. Water on that side. And I'll go ahead and throw it on. Clip on that waistband is like that. Sternum strap. All my straps are tight. feels good it does it feels good the only thing I can say is if it was a it, if it were a which it's not but if you wanted to put a lot more weight in it it would you could feel that on your back remember I have 25 pounds uh, with 24 pounds actually with water and everything I have in it and um, so there's very minimal, there's not a lot of weight on my back, uh, at my lower, on my hips. If you were to put 30 pounds in this, 40 pounds starting to go up. Uh, if you're a young, young kid, you're not gonna have any problems with that at all. Um, the older you get, you know, take that into account. But uh, um, I'm, I'm mid 40s and it feels good on me at 25 pounds. Um, but actually, you can really feel it's really firm. It's a, got a really firm feel on the back, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, if you are wondering about getting one, uh, stop wondering. Go ahead and grab it. All right, see you.